Hello kids, and today we're gonna solve the panda puzzle. We're gonna play with the panda puzzle. So here we have the panda that's holding the bamboo. And right here we have rainbow, that's right. And look at this panda, she's look pretty happy about it. So let's get started. So the first puzzle that we're gonna solve gonna be the panda puzzle this one so we need to find the panda but how are we gonna do this the first step gonna be to rotate those cubes and try to find the panda so let's start with first cube can you see the panda can you see the panda let's can you see the panda here no there is no panda okay let's leave it aside let's try next one can you see the panda can you see the panda? No. Let's try next one. So we need to rotate them and try to find the panda, right? So the panda colors are white with black. Okay, so this one cube also doesn't have any panda. Okay, the next one. Does this have the panda? Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Tell me if you see the panda. Yes. Here is the panda. Great. So let's place it here at the moment, right? And let's take the next one. Let's rotate. Can you see the panda here? Can you see the panda? Let me know, please, if you see the panda. Let me know. Yes, here is the panda. Great. Let's leave it here. And the next one that we're gonna have Again, let's try to find the panda. Can we see the panda? Here is the ear of the panda. Can you see? Here is the ear of the panda. Okay, let's leave it here. And the next one. Again, let's rotate. Can you see the panda here? No. Let's rotate this way. And then let's rotate this way. And see. No, there is no panda. The next one, cube. Let's take it and rotate. Let's see if there is the panda. Hmm. Does this is the ear of the panda? Yes, this is the ear of the panda here. Okay, great. Then let's put it here on the puzzle board. Let's take the next one and rotate. So what we are doing, we're rotating the cube and trying to see if we can identify any panda parts, right? So let's rotate. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? No. Okay, let's put it aside. Next one. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Let's try it this way. Can you? Is this is the panda? No. This is the koala. Okay, but we need the panda. Can you see the panda? Is this is the panda? Let's look at our image. It's holding the bamboo. Yes, this is the panda puzzle piece. Okay, let's place it on the puzzle board. And then let's rotate. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Hmm. Let's rotate this way. Can you see the panda? No. Okay, let's leave it aside. And the next one. Can you see the panda? Hmm. Can you see the panda? Let's rotate another way. Hey, no, there is no panda here. Can see it. Okay, let's leave it. The next one. Can you, is this is the panda? Hmm, but let's rotate and see if there is any other pieces. Hmm, no, this is, this is actually the panda with the paws. You can see here is the paws, the left leg and the right. And here is the left leg and the right. Okay, let's take this one here and the next one let's rotate and can you see the panda maybe some part of the panda maybe the leg of the panda can you see the leg of the panda yes here is the leg of the panda let's look at our image and here you see here is the part of the leg of the panda here is the rainbow right so it's the same great let's take two our puzzle board and the next one okay here we have the bee here we have who is that do you know who is that 
Tell me, please, who is this? You know it. It's Panda. Nice job. Great. And the last one piece? Gonna be this one. Let's try to find the panda. Hmm. Cannot see any panda. Okay. Here is the panda. Great, with the bamboo. Amazing. Let's look at this puzzle board. So we found the puzzle pieces where we can see the panda, right? And here we have another puzzle pieces that we later gonna help us to finish the puzzle. Okay, so here we have the left eye of the panda and this one is right eye of the panda. So let's combine them. You see here we have the face with the nose and the smile. The next one, what we're gonna take gonna be the body of the panda or maybe the ears of the panda that's gonna help us. Let's look at our image and let's look at this face. Okay, so here's the face, here is the ears, right? So we can combine them maybe together like this. Hmm. It doesn't work well, right? So maybe this ear should be mostly on the left like this and this one here. Okay, let's leave it like that. And the next one that we're gonna try to find gonna be the body of the panda. So here is the bamboo and the hands of the panda. So let's try place it here like that. Great, it comes along really well. Okay, and the next one that we need gonna be the paws of the panda. So maybe let's try to place them here, like this. Okay. And the next one that we're gonna try to find, maybe gonna be this one. So here is the bamboo and here is the bamboo, like this. Hmm, seems to be all right. Okay. And let's try maybe to turn around them like this. Try this and then turn around this one. Great, well done. We almost have the panda here, amazing. So, and the next one that we're gonna take gonna be the bottom part of the panda. Hmm, it seems to be the right way, okay. And here's the part of the leg that we found earlier. So let's place it right here. Great, so we completed the panda, but we still need to complete the wall puzzle. And if we look at the image here, we have the rainbow. Okay, so let's try to find the rainbow. So can you see the rainbow? Here is the rainbow and here is the rainbow. Let's take this too. Let's turn around others. Can you see the rainbow? Here is the part of the rainbow. Let's, next one. Can you see the rainbow? Yes, no, no, okay, but this one seems to be like a part of the panda ear. And here's the bamboo. Let's also leave it like this. Then let's turn around and see if there's the rainbow. No, there is no. Here's again the bamboo. Okay, great. Is there is the rainbow or maybe bamboo? Can you see the bamboo? Hmm, is this is a bamboo? What do you think? Yes, correct. Okay, so and the last one is, hmm, let's try it again to rotate and see. There is the rainbow. Hmm, I think this is the part of the rainbow and here's the part of the tail of the panda. Great. Okay, so right now we have found other pieces that we need to combine. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna use our rainbow. Right, and we're gonna rotate like this. And then we're gonna place. Then we're gonna take another piece with the rainbow and we're gonna, hmm, should we place it here? No, we should place it here, Hey, And then another piece, but we need to rotate it. Maybe like this, what do you think? Hmm, doesn't work well. So maybe it should go on other side. And then we rotate. And here we have the panda, great. And then another, let's try to take another piece with a rainbow here, another piece with a rainbow. 
and lace it. Great, well done. So here's another part of the rainbow. So it should go somewhere here, right? So great. And here is another part of the ear. And where we have the ear? So it's from the left ear. So should we place like this? What do you think? Yes? Great, amazing. And then we have another last puzzle piece. But this one we need to rotate to make it right. Okay, this doesn't work. Let's rotate again. And yes, we've completed the panda puzzle. Amazing. So let's continue with the next one puzzle. Hello kids. And today we're gonna solve the orangutan puzzle. Great. And the orangutan is in a fitness. Okay, let's start. So we're gonna mix this up. And the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna try to rotate each puzzle piece like this and try to find the orangutan. Okay, so here is the hair of orangutan. You see the brown color. So that's what we need. So we found the first one. So let's take the next one and try to find orangutan, right? So we need brown color. It could be the part of the body or the part of the face. So does it seem to you like orangutan? Yes, because it has brown and here's the ear. Great. So let's take the next one. And when we try to rotate, we're trying to see orangutan. And if you see orangutan, then please let me know and I'm gonna stop and we're gonna look up for orangutan. Okay, is this orangutan? Yes, let's take this orangutan. Great. So we found three puzzle pieces and let's do next one. And let's rotate and see if there is orangutan. Maybe the smile of orangutan, right? Because He's, he's in a gym, right? Okay, where is the orangutan? Yes! Can you see the smile and the nose and eyes? Yes, this is orangutan. Great! We found four puzzle pieces. One, two, three, and four. Let's continue with the next one. And let's rotate and see if there is orangutan or maybe the brown color of orangutan, right? Let's run. And who is that? Can you see? Let's look closely. Can you see that? Yes, it's a hair of orangutan. Great. Let's take this and let's continue with the next one. Okay, I'm gonna pick this one and let's rotate and see. Hmm. Trying to rotate slowly. So let's maybe look this. And Mr. Pig, what do you think of this one? Yes, this is the foot of orangutan. Let's take this, great. And coming up the next one. Okay, let's take this. And what we have here? We have here the butterfly. But if you look closely, we have here the foot of orangutan, great. Let's take this here and let's take the next one and rotate and turn around. Hmm, where is the orangutan? Can you spot the orangutan? Hmm, yes, here is the orangutan. Great. So let's take this puzzle piece and place it here. And we have the last one puzzle piece that we need to rotate. Hmm, and what is that? It's a hand of orangutan, right? Great, let's take all these puzzle pieces and let's start with the face. So first thing is the face and then we're gonna try to find the puzzle pieces around the face. So the next one, here is the eye of the orangutan. So we're gonna try to combine and yes, great. And here is another part, the ear and the face. 
So let's try and great! We already combined three puzzle pieces. One, two, and three. Well done! Okay, and the next one is body here. So where is the body of the orangutan? Can you tell me where is the body? Yes, this is the body of the orangutan. So let's place underneath. Great! So the next one gonna be the left foot here. And I think this is the left foot. So let's try and here it's coming. And yes! Well done! And here is another one with the right foot, right? So here's the fingers. And here's the right foot. And let's combine together and great! Amazing! And here we need the hair of orangutan. Here is the hair of the orangutan. So let's try to place it here. Well done! And we only need two puzzle pieces to complete this puzzle. Okay, so here is the two puzzle pieces. And here is the hand of orangutan. So let's try to fit in like this. Well done! And here is the last one. But which side we should do it? Should we rotate? Like one and two. Okay, and then let's try to combine. And great! Here is the arm of orangutan. Well done! We've completed the orangutan puzzle. See you in the next video. And today we have zebra puzzle and duck puzzle. And we also have our friend, the pig, who's gonna help us to find the puzzles. So let's start. Okay, so our first step, let's ask our pig for the first step. Okay, Mr. Pig told us that we need those old puzzle pieces to have in one line. So let's do it. Yes, Mr. Pig? <laughs> yes, okay, let's do it. So we're gonna do this. Okay, so we take all the cubes. So this is the cube, right? So we're gonna take the cube and just place it like that. So who we need to find first? Gonna be the zebra, right, Mr. Pig? <laughs> yes, okay. So let's try to find the zebra. So let's take our first puzzle and then Mr. Pig, what we should do with this puzzle? <laughs> Mr. Pig is saying that we should rotate this puzzle piece like this. Yes, Mr. Pig? <laughs> yes, okay, so let's rotate and let's try to find the zebra, right? Mr. Pig, we can't find any zebra here. What we should do? <laughs> Mr. Pig is saying that when we rotate this side, we should rotate down, right? And see for zebra maybe here, right? Okay, Mr. Pig, there is no zebra. What's next step we should take? <laughs> okay, Mr. Pig, then we should put this aside, Mr. Pig is saying to us. Okay, so the next one would be the this puzzle. So we're gonna do as our Mr. Pig told us. We're gonna rotate, right? And we're gonna try to find the zebra. Okay, there is no zebra. Okay, Mr. Pig, already in second puzzle that and we still can't find any zebra. What we should do? <laughs> Mr. Pig is saying you should keep going and you should never give up. Okay, so let's take the third one and then rotate and see if there is zebra. <laughs> Miss, Mr. Pig, what, what you're saying? <laughs> Mr. Pig is saying that this is the zebra. This is the puzzle that we need. Yes, Mr. Pig? Yes, okay. So let's place it here, right. So then Mr. Pig is saying that we should take this puzzle piece. Okay, Mr. Pig, what you saying? This is the zebra again. Thank you, Mr. Pig. Great, Mr. Pig is so smart. Let's take the next one. So we should rotate the next one and Try to find the zebra. <laughs> Mr. Pig is saying that this does not have any zebra, so we don't need this. Okay, Mr. Pig, what, what we should do next? <laughs> Mr. Pig is saying that we should pick this one and we should rotate. Okay, let's try to find the zebra. We need the zebra, <laughs> Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig is saying that there is no zebra in this one. Okay, 
<laughs> Mr. Pig, what, what, what you're saying, Mr. Pig? Oh, we should take this one. Okay, let's take this one. And Mr. Pig is saying that we should rotate and there will be the zebra. Mr. Pig is so wise and smart. Mr. Pig is saying that we should rotate down. Okay. Here is the zebra. Thank you, Mr. Pig. Wow, thank you. Great, we found the third. Okay, let's continue with the four puzzle and rotate and let's see if there is the zebra right and also mr pig is always gonna help us can you see the zebra here mr pig is saying that we should rotate once more and here is the zebra right so let's take to our puzzle pieces right so let's continue so let's take this one and rotate okay and see if there is the zebra let's rotate down there is no zebra right so let's move it away so the next one ah. oh mr pig is saying that we should take instead of this we should take the ah. Ah. mr pig is saying that we should take this one okay mr pig so let's rotate and move left right so and then let's see if there is the zebra ah. mr pig is saying that we should do it back and here it is, the zebra, right. So we're gonna take the zebra and place it here. Great. So the next one, let's listen to Mr. Pig, what he's saying, which one we should take. This one. Okay, okay, let's do it. And then we should rotate and there could be the zebra. Yes, here is the zebra, right, amazing. Well done, here we have the zebra. Let's place it here, great. So, Mr. Pig, let's listen to Mr. Pig because he's really smart. Which one should we take, Mr. Pig? He's saying this one. Okay, let's try. So, let's move it and let's find the zebra here. Can you see the zebra? Yes, this is the legs of the zebra. Thank you, Mr. Pig. Great. Amazing. So, and then... Let's try another one. Let's let's look at the Mr. Pig where he is going, right? This one, he's saying this one. Okay, let's take this one and rotate and see if there is zebra. Hmm. Mr. Pig, I don't see any zebra here. But Mr. Pig is saying that this this puzzle we would need for the zebra. Okay, even though uh, let's listen to Mr. Pig. Okay, let's move it here. Great. Okay, so let's take the next one and rotate. Okay, what we have here? Do we have zebra maybe here? Hmm, let's see. No, we don't have zebra. Let's move it away and take the next one. Let's rotate. Do we have zebra here? Let's try to find the zebra. No, there is no zebra. Ah. And Mr. Pig is saying that we only left with three ones. So Mr. Pig is saying that none of this contains zebra. So we don't need to go through them. Ah. Okay, let's move it away. And Mr. Pig is saying that we should start to combine those puzzle pieces. Okay, so Mr. Pig gonna help us. So Mr. Pig is saying that we should take the legs first. So we're gonna take the legs and place it here. Ah. Right, yes, Mr. Pig is saying, let's do it. So then the next one we should take, Mr. Pig, what we should take the next? <laughs> this one, okay. And let's combine together. Right, okay, and the next one? This one, Mr. Pig is so smart as you. Great. Amazing, we just combined three puzzle pieces with the help of Mr. Pig, great. So the next one, what we should take would be the, Mr. Pig, this one, the legs of the zebra. Great, let's take the legs of the zebra and Mr. Pig gonna help us. Right, amazing, amazing, well done. Okay, thank you, Mr. Pig. And then let's listen to Mr. Pig. He's saying that we should look for the nose of the zebra. Where is the nose of the zebra? Can you see? Here is the nose, right? Let's take the nose and place it here, right, Mr. Pig? Yes, correct. 
So the next one we should take gonna be the ear of the zebra. Can you see the ear of the zebra? Here it is, the ear of the zebra. And let's place it and Mr. Pig gonna help us. Great, amazing. Well done. Thank you, Mr. Pig. Okay, so another one we have is with the bird and with the hair of zebra. Okay, Mr. Pig is already helping us. He's saying, let's move it down. Great, well done. So we have here the zebra and we combine it and we found all the puzzle pieces. Okay, great. So Mr. Pig is saying that we should find two more. So we have here another one and another one, right? So we need to find them. Okay, Mr. Pig. So let's try this one. Let's rotate and see if there is any part of the our zebra puzzle. Ah. Mr. Pig is saying that we should rotate and he's saying that this is the puzzle ah. that we need. Okay, great. So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna make this like that. Right, Mr. Pig? Ah. Ah. Great, Mr. Pig, so helpful. Okay, so we left with one puzzle piece. And look at those puzzles. We have so many puzzle pieces here. And Mr. Pig gonna help us to navigate the puzzle. Okay, so Mr. Pig, hmm, where it could be? Let's let's go through. This one, no, Mr. Pig says. This one, no. This one, no. Let's take this one. This one, no. So let's listen closely to, to when Mr. Pig says yes. No, this one, Mr. Pig, can you smell it? No, the next one? No, and this one. Let's maybe Mr. Pig is looking at this one and thinking maybe it's, it's that. No, okay, so there is another one. And this Mr. Pig is saying that this what we need. This one, okay, Mr. Pig gonna take this puzzle piece like that. Great, and Mr. Pig is saying that we should rotate. Okay, great, like that, yes? Yes, okay, so then he's saying that, great, well done. Thank you, Mr. Pig. So Mr. Pig this time help us to solve the zebra puzzle. Great, so let's continue with the duck puzzle. Okay, so right now we have to find the duck and Mr. Pig is saying that we should again do it in one row so what we should do we should organize these puzzles okay let's do it let's organize these puzzle pieces okay great so let's and mr pig is saying that we should take the first one and we should try to rotate right so we should rotate once like this and Mr. Pig is saying that this is the duck, this is the yellow color, that what we need. Great, the first puzzle. Then take the next one and rotate and see if there is the duck. Let's see ourselves, right? So Mr. Pig is saying that this also we need, but we don't see any duck, but let's, but let's trust the Mr. Pig. Okay, we have another one, Mr. Pig, saying the third one. Yeah, this is what we need. The yellow, you see the yellow, the duck. Great. Let's place it here. Then take another one and let's see if there is the duck, right? This is the duck that we need for our puzzle. Great. Let's place it on our puzzle board. Amazing. And then let's take another one and rotate and see if there is the duck. Hmm, Mr. Pig is saying that this is the duck. This is the legs of the duck. Here is a small fish. Okay, Mr. Pig gonna help us to move it to our puzzle board. Great, well done. So then the next one. This time we're gonna try to rotate and find ourselves. But if we can find, then let's ask the Mr. Pig if he can help us with this, right? Mr. Pig, there is no any duck here. What we should do? 
Mr. Pig is saying that we should solve it later, right? So we're gonna take another one and then rotate and see. Okay, let's do it again. And hmm, Mr. Pig, there is no any duck here. What we should do? Mr. Pig gonna help us to find the puzzle for the duck. And here is the duck puzzle, Mr. Pig is saying. Great, thank you, Mr. Pig. Okay, thank you. And then we left with two puzzle pieces. So let's give it a go and rotate and see. Hmm. Let's look closely if there is the duck. Mr. Pig is saying that this red apples, the tree, and this is the nose of the duck. Mr. Pig, thank you. Great. And then the next one. Let's take it and rotate what we have here. The duck, the yellow, great. Okay, let's take this and move it to our puzzle board. Okay, so next thing, what we should do, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig is saying that we should start with the face of the duck. Okay, let's do it. So we're gonna start with the face of the duck and then we're gonna have the body of the duck, the, this one, right? So Mr. Pig is always helping us. It's, he's our friend. Great, and then Mr. Pig is saying that we should take this one, this one. Okay, let's try. And where we should move it, Mr. Pig? We should move it here. So it's a left wing of the duck. Great, and then Mr. Pig is saying that we should find the nose of the duck. Can you see the nose of the duck? Can you see the nose? Yes, here is the nose of the duck. Let's take this and let's move here. Great! We step by step completing this puzzle. So the next one we should take gonna be the legs of the duck. This one, right? So let's take this and place it at the bottom of the duck like this. Great! And then the next one would be, let's ask Mr. Pig. He's saying that this fish could be, but he's saying that we should rotate. Okay, let's try. So, and yes, thank you, Mr. Pig. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Pig. Thank you very much for helping us. So, and then we need the right wing. You see here, right wing, we need this puzzle piece. Okay, this one, yes. Let's take this and move it and yes, complete it. Okay, the next one, let's ask Mr. Pig because when we look at those two puzzle pieces, we don't know which one we should take. So let's ask the Mr. Pig. What do you think, Mr. Pig? This one. And where we should place this one? He's saying that we should place here. And let's see. Yes, we have the sun and the cloud. Thank you, Mr. Pig. And then the next one. We can't see Mr. Pig if, if this is from our puzzle <laughs> Mr. Pig is saying that this is from our puzzle. Okay, let's try. So maybe this one. Yes, Mr. Pig saying this one. And where we should move? Mr. Pig is saying that we should move at the bottom. Okay, let's do it. And here it goes. Let's try. And great! Congratulations! We've completed the duck puzzle. So we found the duck. We have two fishes. One and two. We also have the tree that's full of apples and we also have the sun. Great, we've completed the duck puzzle with the help of Mr. Pig. See you in the next video. Hello kids! And today we have a hedgehog puzzle and you can see we have a hedgehog that's holding three apples. One, two and three. So let's get started and solve this puzzle. Okay, so how are we going to solve this puzzle? And the first step that we're gonna do, we're gonna take each one of these cubes and we're gonna rotate and we're gonna try to find the, some kind of part of the hedgehog. And right now I'm rotating this cube to see if there is the hedgehog. For example, here we can see the yellow bird right but we need a hedgehog and you can see here that we have mushrooms and the hedgehog mouth okay 
Great, so we found our first puzzle. Let's place it on the puzzle board. Great, let's continue with the next one. Let's take this puzzle cube and rotate and see if we can look for the hedgehog. So who is that? Do you know who is this? This is the owl. Okay, so, but we need a hedgehog. So this could be the part of the hedgehog, right? So this is the hedgehog hair. So let's take this puzzle and place it on our puzzle board and continue with the next one. Again, the first thing that we do, we always rotate like this, right? So great. So here we can see another mushroom and the hedgehog hair. Amazing. So let's take this to our puzzle board. And we already found three puzzle pieces. One, two, and three. Great. Well done. Let's continue with the next one. So as we always re rotate, right? We rotate and see if there is the hedgehog. And you can see here we have the apple and the hedgehog hair. So this is the part of the apple, right? So let's take this puzzle piece to our puzzle board. And let's take the next one. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate like this and see if there is the hedgehog image or maybe apple or maybe mushroom. Is this an apple? Is this the apple? Yes, this is the red apple. Okay, so we're gonna take this to our puzzle board. And then let's take the next one and rotate and see if there is the hedgehog, right? So we're gonna rotate and see. And when we see it, let's stop and look if this is the hedgehog. Is this the hedgehog? This might be the part of the hedgehog. So this might be the small legs of the hedgehog. Should we take this to our puzzle board? Yes, let's do it. So let's take to our puzzle board. And the next one, we have cube that again, what we are doing, we are rotating, right? And we're trying to see if there's some kind of hedgehog part or maybe the apple or maybe the small mushroom or maybe the face of the hedgehog, right? But if we can find anything, then we're gonna move this away and we're gonna Take the next one. So again, we rotate and we see if there is the hedgehog, right? If there is no, then we're gonna place it away. So let's see. Can you see the hedgehog maybe? I can, so let's maybe move away right now. So put aside and take the next one. And let's go through again. We are rotating and looking for that hedgehog part maybe the mushroom or maybe the apple right so it's gonna be important to to focus on this cube right that we are rotating mm, okay let's move it aside and let's take the next one it's okay if we can find the hedgehog right away it's totally okay we're just trying to find some kind of part that we can place on our puzzle board right so it doesn't seem that this cube have some kind of head oh what do you think of this one hmm it might be that this is the apple and this is the part of the hedgehog okay let's take this to our puzzle board and then let's continue with the next one so let's rotate and see if there is some kind of part of the hedgehog right so hmm at the moment, I can't see, so we are rotating, but there is no any, any kind of clue if this is the hedgehog or not. So let's move it away. Let's take the next one. Okay, and let's rotate and see if there is the hedgehog. Hmm. Oh, who is that is? Is this a hedgehog? Can you see there is the eye and the nose? Great, let's take this puzzle piece to our puzzle board and let's take the next one and rotate, right? Mm, can you see the red apple here? 
Let's do it again. And let me know if you see the red apple. Is this a red apple? What do you think? Is this the red apple on the hedgehog? Yes, let's take. Great. Then let's take another one and rotate. And let's see if there is some kind of part of the hedgehog. Let's do it again. And what do you see here? Can you tell me who is that? Who is that ear? So this is the ear and this is the part of the eye and hair of the hedgehog. Great, let's take this to our puzzle board. And the next one, let's rotate and see if there's maybe the legs of the hedgehog, right? So let's rotate again. And hmm, who is that? I think it might be the body of the hedgehog, the body with the legs and the body. So let's take this to our puzzle board. Amazing. So the next one, the last puzzle piece. So let's move it and then rotate. So what we need to look for gonna be the red apple on the hedgehog. So let's rotate this way. Mm, this seems to me like a red apple. What do you think? Let me know. Do you think that this is the red apple? Mm, yes, and this is the mushroom and this the brown image here right it's from the hedgehog so let's take this and place on our puzzle board so you can see we found different puzzle pieces to complete our puzzle and we still have some puzzle pieces that we need later to use so let's at the moment do not use them and let's go through the this puzzle pieces where we're gonna start gonna be the face of the hedgehog. So here we have the mouth, right? So let's move it away, everything. And here we have the mouth. So we're gonna first trying to create the hedgehog face. So here we have a mouth. Here we have the eye and the nose. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna connect them together like this. Great, well done. And then the next one gonna be the body and the legs of the hedgehog. Hmm, it doesn't work this well, right? So we need another puzzle piece. And I think another one could be this one. So let's move it side, then take this and yes, good job. And then another piece that we tried before could be this one. So we're gonna move it here. Great. And then let's try to complete this part. So let's take the ear of the hedgehog and let's move it to another side. Great. And then what we need here, we see there's like a small part of the apple. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that puzzle piece with the apple and let's try to fit in our puzzle piece like this hmm seems to me that it works pretty well great so the next one gonna be the hair and the apple right so here we have the hair and maybe what we should do is to try this one seems to me that everything works well and then what we're gonna do we're gonna move down our puzzle like this okay because the hair is pretty big. So there is other two apples. So let's take this puzzle piece with a mushroom. So we're gonna finish the bottom part. And yes, well done, great job. So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the other apples. So we have other two apples. So let's try to take this one and maybe move here. Hmm, what do you think? This, this, does this work? Or maybe we should move it to, to the right, like this. Hmm. I think let's leave it like that and see if we later need to rearrange. So let's take another one with the apple and... Okay, that's great. So we have two apples at the head, so let's take with the mushroom. So here we have the mushroom and here we have the mushroom. 
So let's try to combine and great. So, and another puzzle piece, you could see that we have small part of the apple, right? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna move down like this. So what we left is the tree at the top. So let's go back to our puzzle pieces that we're gonna rotate and we're gonna try to see if there is the leaves and the tree. So this could be from that hedgehog puzzle. So let's take this and let's try to place somewhere here, right? Like that. Great, we found another puzzle piece. And then let's rotate again and see if there is another puzzle piece. Again, it's a leaf and tree, right? That's what we need. So let's take this and we need maybe to try like this. Great, we only need two puzzle pieces to complete the wall puzzle. Amazing. So let's rotate and see if there is the leaves. So this could be the leaves, but this one is the bamboo leaves. So when we're gonna take this one and we're gonna place it, it's not gonna work, right? Even here. So what we need to do, we need to rotate again and see if there's another part of the leaves, like this one. Let's try and great. Well done. So we only have one puzzle piece that's left. So let's go through, hmm. let's rotate and see, this could be the tree, right? That's what we need. So let's take this and place it. Great, we've completed our puzzle with a hedgehog. So we found the hedgehog, the apples, right? So we have three apples, one, two, three. We also have mushrooms here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six mushrooms. And we also have the tree at the top, you can see, and we have many leaves there. Great, well done. See you in the next video. Hello kids, and today we're gonna try to solve the fox puzzle. So we're gonna try to find the fox and the butterfly and the bee and the bird and oh well that's sitting on a tree so let's start okay let's start with trying to find the fox puzzle pieces so the first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna take the puzzle piece like this and we're gonna rotate this puzzle piece right and we're gonna try to find the red fox okay so Let's start. And what I'm doing right now, I'm rotating the cube. And this cube has many images here, right? So we need to find the red color. Is this a red color? Is this a red color? Yes. So when we find it, we're gonna place it in our puzzle board, right? And then we're gonna for the next one. We first think we need to find the red color, right? If there is no red color, then we're gonna move away this puzzle piece. Okay, is this a red color? What do you think? Yes, great. Okay, the next one, let's take and rotate and see if there's a red color. Okay, and this is the red color, but it's an apple and we need a fox, right? So let's rotate and see, is this a fox? Can you see, is this a fox? Yes, it's a red color, right? Okay, let's take this. Great. And then take another one and rotate. And let's try to find the fox. So, is this a fox? No, it's a koala and it's a gray color, right? So, is this a fox? No, this is the hedgehog and it's a brown color, right? So let's move this way. Is this a fox? No, it's a hippo with a pink color. And then the next one, is this a fox? Smiling to us. Yes, correct. This is a fox, great. Let's take this puzzle piece and place it in a puzzle board. Right, let's take the next one. Let's try to find the red color. Is this a red color? 
No, it's a pink color. Is this a red color? Can you see? No, it's a not red color. Is this one red color? This one. No. Is this one red color? What do you think? Yes, correct. Let's take this puzzle piece to our puzzle board. Like this. Great. So the next one. Let's try to find the fox. Is this a fox? No, it's a koala. So is this a fox? It might be the hedgehog, right? So we need to find the fox and we need the red color. Can you see the red color here, right? So it might be the ear of the fox. So let's take this puzzle piece and place on a board, right? When we try to find those puzzle pieces, it's okay if we gonna take the wrong one. We still can later change it, right? So we're gonna take the next one and the next one. Let's try to find the fox. So this one, remember, this is the camel, right? The tail of the camel. So we need to find the fox. Let's rotate. Hmm. I can't see here the fox, but here we can see the tail, the tail of the fox, right? So with red and the white. So let's take this puzzle piece to our puzzle board. Okay, so the next one, again, let's try to find the red color, right? So here we have the river and the dirt and the grass. So who we have here? We have here the mushrooms and the hedgehog. We need the fox. So here we have the yellow bird, but this is what do you think? Is this from the fox? This might be the ear of the fox. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Should we take to our puzzle board? Let me know. Yes, we should take this to our puzzle board. Well done, amazing. So let's work on next one. So the next one is the gray color, right? But this gray color is koala, but we need a fox. Okay, so. Where is the fox? Let's try to find it. This is the camel, the leg of the camel. So the next one, is this a fox? Red color, red one. Yes, let's take this to our puzzle board. Amazing. And then let's try to work through others. So let's see, can we see the fox or maybe the part of the fox? No, okay. So let's take this away like this. Let's place it away. And then the next one. Let's rotate first. So we rotate slowly and try to see if there is the part of the fox. Hmm. It seems to me that this is the ears of the fox, right? The red ones. So it might be that we should take this and place in our board like this, right? But let's rotate. Great. So when you look at the puzzle board, board, you can see that every puzzle piece has the red color, even if it's a bit, right? So that's the parts of the fox. And we still need to go through this puzzle pieces to see if there is another parts of the fox. So let's rotate and see. Hmm. I don't know, this seems to be, it, it's a red color, but there is also orange color. Right, but this seems to me like a rainbow. So maybe let's try to, to rotate again. Who is this one? This is the hippo, right? Again, let's rotate and see. Hmm, this seems to me, maybe this could be the fox, but I'm not sure myself. What do you think? Maybe let's rotate and see next. Here is the butterfly. And here is the small portion of the red color and white. So this could be the puzzle piece from the fox. Should we take to should we take this puzzle piece to our puzzle board board? Yes, let's do it. Let's place it. Amazing. So the next one we should take gonna be the mm, this one. And let's rotate and see if there is the fox somewhere. Mm. Maybe this one, what do you think? This could be the nose of the fox and the eye, right? And a bit of face. 
Great, and here is the small B. So let's take this one, place it, and then the next one. Let's rotate and see if we can if we can find the fox. Right, we're gonna rotate slowly. And yes, here is the tail of the fox. So let's take this and the B. So let's take this to our puzzle board. And then the next one. Okay, let's rotate slowly. Can we see the fox? Hmm, this might be the paws of the fox. So legs, right? So let's take to our puzzle board. Great. And the last one, we only left with the last one, right? Let's rotate and see. And this might be our fox because this is the tail, right? Great, let's take to our puzzle board. As you can see, we have the red color everywhere, right? Even if it's a small portion. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our face, right? The face of the fox. So we have here the fox and then let's try to find the bottom part, the neck and the body, maybe this one. Great, okay. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the head, right? And then try to connect like this. Uh, amazing, well done. And then we have another part of the fox, the eye. So let's place it here and great, well done. And then we have the body of the fox. So what we should do, maybe we should take this one piece and place it beneath like that. Hmm, works pretty well for us. So the next one, we need the tail. So we're gonna take the tail of the fox and place it underneath like this. Great, amazing, well done. And then we should take the legs of the fox so this is the legs and let's maybe the paws and maybe let's try to place it here in the corner, great. What we need to find is the tail of the fox. So let's maybe try to do it. So what we should do, we should take our B and try to move this puzzle piece here. Amazing, congratulations, we almost completed our puzzle, but let's keep going and another piece that we need to find gonna be again the, another piece of the tail like this great well done and then we need to try this one part so it's a end of the tail of the fox right so let's do it great well done and this could be the ear of the fox so maybe let's try to place it somewhere Hmm, like this, what do you think? Or should we rotate? Yes, let's rotate and place, great. And there is another small part of the ear of the fox, of the right ear of the fox. Great, the fox is almost completed. And then here is again the small part of the tail of the fox. So here is the tail and here we have the empty space. So when we're gonna place our cube here, and yes, congratulations. And then the next one, maybe let's see here, we have another ear and the bird. So it might go like here. So let's do it and fit in and great, well done, amazing. So the next one we have again the fox. So what we need to do, we need to rotate, so remember this butterfly that we found and here we have small part of the fox, the white one, right, the belly, so let's place it here, great, and here, who we have here, I think we might have here the owl, right, sitting on the tree, so let's take it and place it, great, we've completed the fox puzzle in no time, well done. So we found the fox, we found the bird, we found the butterfly, we found the bee, and we also found the owl. Amazing, congratulations. You're done pretty well. See you in the next video. And today we're gonna learn about the camel and we're gonna solve this puzzle. Okay, let's start. 
Okay, let's start. So the first step to find our puzzles of the camel, we need to rotate each puzzle. So let's start with this. And let's take and rotate and let's try to see if there's the camel. And how the camel looks is that he has the brown color. And can we see if there is any brown color? Yes, we see there is the tree. There is another tree, but we don't see any camel here. Okay, so we're gonna put it aside. And then let's take the next one. So, and see, oh, here is our camel with the tail. Great, let's take this puzzle and place on a board like this. Great, let's take the next one. Okay, and rotate and see if there is any camel here, right? So there is a lot of different animals, but there is no camel. Let's try to focus. Okay, there is no any camel, right? So we're gonna put this aside and then take the next one. Okay, so let's see. Can you see the brown color? It might be our camel, but the wall square is filled with brown color. So what do you think? Should we take this puzzle piece to our board? Yes? Okay, let's take this. Okay, we found two puzzle pieces. So the next one, let's again try to rotate first, right? So we're gonna rotate and see if there is the camel. Can you see the camel, the brown color? Maybe the leg, maybe the tail, maybe the body. Can you see the ca Yes, here is our camel. It's a brown leg, great. Let's take this, amazing. So the next one, we're gonna take this one and let's try to find the leg of the camel. It should be somewhere. Can you see if there is the leg of the camel? Can you see it? Yes, it's here, great. Okay, let's take this one and place it in, in a puzzle. Great, amazing. So let's take the next one. And let's try to see if there is the camel. Let's rotate like this, yes. And can we see if there is any camel? Can we see the cactus maybe, the green cactus like this one? Maybe you could see right now here. Let's try, can you see it? Let's rotate, okay, this is what we need. This is the cactus and this is the leg of the camel. Amazing. Okay, great. We already found few pieces, but let's keep going. You're doing great. So let's take the next one and see if there is the camel. So the brown color or maybe the cactus or maybe the sand, right? The sand is the yellow color. Okay, maybe there is the camel. Here, it might be the camel because this is the part of the tail of the camel and here's the tree and a bit of sand, right? So should we take this puzzle piece to our puzzle board? What do you think? Yes or no? Yes, okay, great. So the next one, let's try to find the cactus. Let's try to find it. Can we see the cactus? Is this a cactus? Yes? Okay, maybe try again and see if there is another cactus. Is this a cactus? No, it's a mushroom. Okay, and this is, yes, this is the cactus. You were correct, amazing. So let's take this puzzle piece to our board. Great, and let's keep going with the next one. So the next one, again, let's rotate. So the first thing that you do is that you rotate the puzzle. So what I'm doing, I'm rotating this puzzle piece, right? And how this shape is called? It's called cube. Okay, great, so here we have, this is the leg of the camel. What do you think? Is this the leg of the camel? Should we take to our puzzle? This one, should we place here? Yes, let's do it, nice. Okay, and then let's try to find the camel. Is this a camel? Should we go and find maybe other parts of it or should we take this one is this a camel yes yes you're right this is the camel and you can see there is the eye there is the mouth great and let's take this 
camel and place it on a puzzle board like this. Amazing. And then let's take the next one. So the next one, again, we need to find some kind of cactus or maybe camel, right? So let's rotate the puzzle piece, right? And let's rotate so we can rotate this way or we can rotate this way, right? So what I'm doing, I'm rotating the cube, right? And is this a cactus? What do you think? Is this a cactus? Yes, this is what we need. Great. Okay. And then let's take the next one. What we need to find right now is a part of the pyramid, right? Pyramid are in Egypt. Great. And there will be the sun. Is this a sun? Part of the sun? Yes. And this is part of the cloud. And here we have the part of the pyramid. Amazing. So let's take this puzzle piece to our puzzle board. Great. Look how many puzzle pieces we already found and we only left with three one one two and three okay let's go through them and let's try to find other puzzle pieces so what we need to find is the sun of the puzzle is this a sun that's smiling to us let's look again yes this is the sun right so that's what we need for our puzzle and this might be it could be the cloud right here and let's take this. Okay. So the next one, let's try to look if there will be any other piece for our puzzle. So maybe it could be the camel. It could be the cactus. It could be the tree, right? Is this what we need? No, this is the panda. It's a bamboo. Okay. And here we have the legs of the camel, right? So here we have the legs. Okay, let's take this puzzle piece to our board. Great, and we only left with the last puzzle piece. So let's rotate first and see if there is any part of the body of the camel. We need the brown color. This is the brown color, but is this an animal called camel? No, this is the koala, right? So let's keep going and let's try to find the camel. This is the apple right and this is i think this is the hedgehog okay is this a camel can you see here is the pyramid and here is the body of the camel should we take this puzzle piece to our board or should we keep rotating it what do you think let me know yes we should take this to our puzzle board correct and right now we need these puzzle pieces to combine Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's start with the face of the camel, right? Here's the face. So let's place aside all the, all the puzzle pieces and then let's start with the face. So we have the face of the camel. So the next one, what we need to do, we need to try to find the body, right? So this seems to me that we can connect with this puzzle piece. Let's try, you see, when I'm connecting, they're going pretty well because they're connecting between two puzzle pieces. Great. And then the next one could be the another puzzle piece for the body. So you see, I'm moving to the left, right? Because there should be more place for another piece. So maybe we can try this like this. It doesn't look like this would go here, but let's maybe leave it and let's wait till the end and see if it works. Okay, so the next thing that we need to find gonna be the sun, right? So the sun is somewhere at the top like this. But what do you think if we're gonna try to combine them together and just gonna push them? And yes, it goes pretty well. So there is another part of the sun that we can place in a corner right so let's do it and amazing well done okay so there is tail of the camel so tail of the camel is somewhere here right so here we have the part of the tail let's try to place it here and maybe try this one right so here is the tail of the camel again so it's continuous right so when we connect together we see that this part of the tail connects with this one and great amazing well done so the next one 
what we need to do we need the legs and we have a lot of legs so it might be pretty difficult to place them together but what we should do first we have the cactus right and here we have the cactus maybe let's combine them together like this and then let's start try to find where we can place those legs can we maybe place here what do you think yes let's do it and maybe leave right now like like this and then see if we need to move somewhere else so then we're gonna take the leg and let's place it maybe here right like that great it goes pretty well you're doing great so then we're gonna take another part of the legs and what we should do we should move to the right like this great so we need this part of the leg you see here is the leg but it it still continues so what we're gonna do we're gonna take this puzzle piece we're gonna place it here and then we're gonna move like this and yes great well done so the next thing that we're gonna try to do gonna be the cactus you see here is the cactus and here we have the cactus so let's combine them right now and yes and then let's take those two puzzle pieces and place here in into empty space so you can see we have the hair of the camel right and the piece of the cactus so let's try to place it like that and voila done great so what we should do we have those two puzzle pieces that we still need to rotate so let's rotate them and see if there is the camel or maybe the tree so this could be the part of the tree right so let's try it and see and yes great amazing so we found the tree and then the next one we need to find the part of the cloud and the hair of the camel so let's maybe rotate and what do you think if this piece gonna work well with with this space can we place it here yes correct well done great so we completed the camel puzzle that camel is in the egypt so we found the sun we found the camel it's a brown color we found the cactus we found the tree amazing well done see you in the next video thank you kids bye see you next time don't forget to subscribe